Well, thank you very much. And look, can I, can I first of all congratulate Sophie, who's just run off the stage. Where's she gone? Uh, let, let's all congratulate Sophie because the reason she set up this event was she thought that the voices of young people hadn't been properly heard in this referendum. And it is quite a thing to organise something in Trafalgar Square. So let's hear it for Sophie, everybody. Now look, there have been lots and lots of speeches in this square uh, during your event today. And there have been lots and lots of speeches over many, many years. And in all of those times, all of those calls, it's been about three things. It's been about voting or acting for yourself, acting for others, and acting for your country. And I want to talk to you about those three things tonight. First of all, this is about you. I'm urging you to vote Remain for you. Because the opportunities that Europe gives this generation, this younger generation, to work elsewhere in Europe, to study elsewhere in Europe, to live elsewhere in Europe, my generation didn't have those growing up. Because half of Europe was behind the Iron Curtain. So first of all, vote Remain for yourself. And don't be embarrassed about that because all the great causes have been about self-interest. But secondly, vote to show solidarity with young people across Europe as well. Because don't let people tell you that the causes you face and the injustices you face here are different from those that are faced elsewhere in Europe. Climate change, tax avoidance, austerity, all of those causes are causes that you face here and causes that other young people face across Europe. And essentially the choice that you face on Thursday is do you choose to stand with those young people or desert those young people? I say you should stand with those young people and vote Remain. And then thirdly, and in a way most importantly, this campaign has become about the character of our country as well. It's been about who we are as a country. Are we a narrow-minded Nigel Farage country? No! Because that is the politics that Nigel Farage has been practicing and preaching in this campaign. And you know, look, the poster, his poster, has become a symbol of his campaign. Because what is that poster telling us? It is telling us that we should fear others, not embrace them. It is telling us that refugees from Iraq and Syria are somehow coming to get us and that we're a breaking point because of them. Now that is not who Britain is. We are better than this as a country. Yeah! And you know, I have, I have particular reason to know that we are better than this as a country. Because 76 years ago, it was my dad and his dad who were in exactly the same position as the refugees in that poster. Because my dad and his dad walked a hundred miles from Brussels to Ostend to get one of the last boats out of Belgium before the Nazis arrived. And I would not be standing on this stage tonight if it wasn't for the compassion, the solidarity, the generosity of our country. That is why we are better than this, Britain. And so, friends, for all of those reasons, for yourself, because you want to stand with other young people across Europe, and because you are standing for a statement of who we are as a country, I say vote Remain. And I say this to you finally as well. You know, I fought the general election uh, last year. It didn't go so well, as you might have, uh, uh, as you might have gathered. But even though that general election was so important to me and I thought so important to this country, this is even more important than a general election because this is an irreversible decision. This isn't a once every four or five years decision. This is a decision for a generation. That's why your voice matters. And I say to young people, even at this late stage, don't let older people make this decision for you. Turn out and vote in this referendum. Because you're